What's going on guys? This is Jose at the uh, Mama Fifi channel. Uh, just to let you guys know, this video is mostly a little podcast that me and my friend Frank decided to do. If you do like it, hit a like on the like button and go ahead and subscribe. And me and my buddy are going to do these podcasts every single Friday. All right. Stay tuned. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? My name's Frank. My name's Jose. What's going on, guys? And this is our first ever episode of Split Screen. I hope you guys don't mind. We're doing it right now while we're playing uh, Pug. So just enjoy. Talk about games, talk about movies, talk about TV shows, comic books, whatever. Whatever's really going on and, in all honesty, talking about stuff that's happened in the past. One of the things that really has caught my eye in the video game world and the video game community I don't know if you saw this yet. Have you seen the commercial for Gillette? You just told me about that today. It, it, it's a commercial with Gillette, and they're using a gamer, one of these professional gamers. And I'm like, why the hell are they bastardizing the system? Because they're pushing e-games, bro. That's what they do, the e-sports stuff. Right, right, but it's... I don't want to buy a razor that an e-sports user is doing. If anything, they shouldn't be shaving. I mean, that's... That's more realistic to me. I get it when they're doing Red Bull, Monsters, Taco Bell, the shit that we actually use. But when you're getting into razors, when you're getting into arbitrary just Look, items that, that doesn't really transcend the video game world, it, it's, it's not beneficial in my eyes. Let's be honest. E ESPN is not doing too good. They're trying to figure out ways to get young people to be watching ESPN. So they got the eSports. And unfortunately, once you're in ESPN and you're doing professional sports, you're gonna have people who are gonna invest money for that. Of course, yes, it makes no sense. Us as gamers, we don't need to see somebody selling me razors. Yes, yeah, nachos maybe, Taco Bell, Red Bull, but not that garbage, but I mean. But it's gonna happen. That's the way it's gonna be in the future from now on. But that being said, you know, Playing Final Fantasy 15, it's, you know, it's, say what you will, good game, bad game, unfinished game. I enjoyed it. I, I'm not saying it's the greatest game in the world, but when I'm playing a mission mm -hmm. and it literally is a commercial for ramen noodles. Wait a minute, in the game? In the game. I you, never played Final Fantasy 15. There is a mission that you are trying to make ramen noodles better and it's like, what do you want? That, like Japanese culture. No, but it's selling you. They, they Wait, is it a brand? Yes, it is a brand. It is, it is the ramen noodle cup of noodle. Well, it is the cup of noodles. And they're sitting there and they have lines saying, I love cup of noodles. I could eat cup of noodles every goddamn day. And you feel like a whore. I, I feel like it's more towards the Japanese people. I I'm, really do. No. Nah, it's something that they I don't think Americans uh, sit there. Oh, well, now I got to have some ramen noodles. You know, they do it everywhere. They do it with Naruto and anime ramen noodles. Yeah, maybe I disagree with them putting. I mean, you sure it was a brand, an actual brand? Dude, we can do a whole segment on how just <laughs> ridiculous this is. Well, didn't it just put Final Fantasy, the 13 girl, um, Lightning. Lightning in a new commercial where she's driving a car, a Toyota, if I'm not mistaken. In Japan? Yeah. <laughs> and and this is where this is where, you know, it's moving up. And I guess this is me getting old, but I just I don't like it. It it's not it makes me feel bad as a gamer. I mean, what are you gonna do? This is this the way it's gonna be, whether you like it or not, is uh it's a digital world now. People are not watching TV. So they gotta put the commercial in Right, but do you, somewhere. But okay, so do you remember? Because EA really started this. I, I remember PlayStation Two EA with things like uh, Need for Speed Underground and Def Jam Fight for New York, where they're promoting Echo Unlimited, where they were promoting Burger King, and you're driving by and you could see the Burger King sign or you saw the KFC sign. You don't remember this in those games? No. Well, yeah, on uh, um, Burnout, I think they had KFC. Yeah, they. Or was it? it was Taxi Cab? That was Sega who did that. Remember Sega? Sega yeah, started... Se Sega had that too, but it wasn't as in your face. It was subtle. It, but it made, 
it made sense. Now it's just like it's forced upon you and it makes me almost not want to play said game. Yeah, you're going to still play it. No, I, I don't know. That's if, just... if that's what it's going to become, I don't know. Because that's what... The, now, the flip side, you take a game like Grand Theft Auto V where they make fun of it. Everything is, is, is satirical in that manner. The Between the car names and the car designs. I mean, hell, the iFruit is... Yes, a, I, I agree. They make fun of it. But if they actually had investors to put money on Grand Theft Auto, they'd take it. But no investor wants to put their name on Grand Theft Auto. In fact, I think I remember when uh, the original... I don't know if it was Grand Theft Auto 3 or 4. They had a car that was so similar to an actual car. And they didn't want the car there at all. Because it looked a lot like another car. Well, because I mean, people that, don't want any parts of Grand Theft Auto. Well, the mods for Grand Theft Auto 4, Grand Theft Auto 5... If you've noticed, what they're doing now is... The cars are very similar. The one that sticks out the most is... Is it the Audi R8? The one that was in Iron Man? The Audi. The, the Audi. That's in Grand Theft Auto. It just doesn't have the Audi symbol. It doesn't have the Audi symbols. It doesn't have the logos. But people have gone in with mods. Yeah, that's and, us. That's the community putting it in. But but it's just the symbol. The car yes, is completely it, the same. Okay. If Audi gave money to put the car there, would you be offended by that? No, because it's not in your face. It, it's it's not this ramen noodle. It's not trying to be like, the best gamers in the world use Gillette razors and we love it all. I don't understand how that even connected. I don't understand how I would want to go buy razors. I don't either. And that, I don't even know who that guy is. I, I don't. And, and that's the thing. Now, I know that there are individuals who know. And, you know, I didn't even know who that PewDiePie guy was until he. PewDiePie. Did, yeah. I didn't. I had no idea who he was until he did the the whole "I'm gonna make fun of Jews" thing and got in trouble with Disney and all that. I had no idea who that guy was. So once again, this could be just a testament of us just being the old time gamer where we want the turn based RPGs and we hate all this. I miss that. Oh, I miss. <laughs> trust me, um, <laughs> I miss that too. And speaking of the turn based RPGs, I want to talk about the repolishing, the remaking of games. You know, we're seeing it, Final Fantasy VII, we saw that together at E3. What does this mean? They ran out of ideas. Yes and no. I, I don't... Yes, yes, they, they ran out of ideas. I I would agree, but then again, I, I would disagree. You know, we were having this conversation. Who's doing the remakes? The Japanese. Yes and no, but because when you look at it, I, you're going to tell I don't me... I there's any American games that are being remade. You're going to tell me... Ready? Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat doesn't count. Mortal Kombat 9 was, and this is what I really liked about it. Mortal Kombat 9 was Mortal Kombat 1, 2, and 3 because this is back in Sega. I mean, when you look at the roster, Mortal Kombat, the very first one, had seven characters. Okay. And there wasn't a lot of replay value, but there was a story there. And then it went from seven to 12 characters and from 12 to 16 characters. No. To 19 characters and Smoke was the middle character for 20 in Mortal Kombat 3. They slowly built up the roster. But that's not a remake. That entire thing was a remake. I don't feel that the next um, Mortal Kombat 11 will be honestly the first true brand new Mortal Kombat because 9 and 10 it felt very much like a rehab. 11 is the next one coming up? And 11 will be the next one, which will probably be two years from now. Because their um, Nether Realms is Mortal Kombat, Wait Two Years, Injustice, which are awesome games. So Injustice came before Mortal Kombat X? No, I don't think yeah, so. Yeah, Injustice came before Mortal Kombat X, and then Mortal Kombat X came out, and then Injustice 2 came out. And now they're getting ready for Mortal Kombat 11, which will probably be another two years. But the games are so well done and they actually have a decent story. Unlike, you know, I'm a huge fighter fan. I, I love my fighting games. Tekken. Uh, some fighter games. Te well, 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 Tekken has such a convoluted story. Um, Street Fighter is just all about Ryu, Bison, and Akuma. And everybody else is arbitrary. It, yes. they, they really, really are. That's my favorite. I know you love. I know you love Street Fighter, but you could 
you can't tell me that the stories are arbitrary. Of course, I, I, when it came out and they didn't have a story mode, I was pretty upset. But Mortal Kombat and Nether Realms just knows what they're doing. Between Injustice and Mortal Kombat, those stories are so well done. But I digress. The rebranding, the rehashing, I like it a lot in the realm of if they do a good job on bringing back classic games. It, it's, you know, they're... What, today we just found out that Secret of Mana is coming back out. Yes. Um, they're doing Final Fantasy VII. They're doing, in my opinion, as much as I loved the new one and what Resident Evil 4. Yes. That Resident Evil 2 remake, I am so excited to see. they're not showing anything. I don't care. I'm still so excited because it's one of my favorite games of I want it to, but it can't be first person. Not that I didn't like 7. I thought 7 was excellent, but I feel like 2... Should be third person. I feel it should be third person, and I still think they should do a fixed camera. I don't want. I, I want it as genuine as possible. I mean, they were the first ones to do that double disc. Remember? Oh, not just the double disc, but yeah, yeah, where it had two different stories, and oh. each one would play off. Like if you did something in the other one, the other disc would know what you did in the other. That was genius. But now they should actually have two people playing at the same time. That'd be good. In two parts of the city, the same thing. I don't know if that makes any sense what I'm saying. It does. You start, you're both in the car. There's a car accident, you know, where the yeah, explosion yeah. separates Claire and Leon. Each one plays on real time. What's that game that they're releasing where you have to play with somebody? It's the guy who oh, did yeah, yeah. Brothers. That game looks extreme. I, it sucks that I don't know what that... It's so off the top of my head, I can't remember, but it looks absolutely incredible. Though what sucks about it is that you literally have to play with somebody. You can't just play by yourself. It's that's, a risk. That's but good and that's bad. One of the things about you having to have somebody to play with, it, it also hurts the game. Because Division, which you got me into, is an excellent game. But by yourself, it's ruthless. Oh, yeah. You can't, you can't play the game by itself. And I hate it. I don't want... What if I don't want... You guys aren't online. I should be able to play and not get massacred every five seconds. Yeah. Which... I mean, I know that you haven't played the DLC, but the DLC is... is well, and, By yourself is ridiculous. And with The Division, this is something that I've noticed. Um, the gaming community is slowly starting to talk about it is... Round two. For games that weren't successful at launch... But now they're coming around. You look at Titanfall 2. You, you hear me talk about Titanfall 2. I love Titanfall 2. It is slowly creeping up into this echelon of yes, I my do like that. favorite game. I, I, I find myself playing Titanfall 2 for hours on end. I haven't felt this into a video game since, I would say, Modern Warfare. Really? Call of Duty 4. The Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare. I played that game so much. Um, but Titanfall, especially with the free DLC that they're always releasing, everybody's starting to take note of that. You look at the division; the division's getting ready to do nothing but free DLC but now. They have to do that to, because the game didn't do good. And Rainbow, but Rainbow Six Siege is starting to do that now. Yeah. Um, didn't they make you buy two season passes? I heard something like that. But a lot of games are now diving into it, and it. I, I go back to the game that I always talk about and between us and our other friends, every time I bring up Grand Theft Auto V, you guys are like, again, it's one of the best-selling video games of all time. And they're constantly releasing DLC. And you all know it's really cool? I don't know if you saw it. Next week, they're getting Smuggler's Run DLC because they created the original Smuggler's Run for the PS2 at launch. And it's kind of paying homage to it. And well, this, what do you mean the original PS2? Um, PS2. It's it was one of the original games. It was a lot. Smuggler's Run was a launch Smuggler's game. Smuggler's Run. Do you remember Smuggler's Run as a oh, launch no. game? Who made that game? Rockstar. Smuggler's Run. Smuggler's Run. You had like dune buggies and stuff, and you had to race to get from one point to another point, and it was it was all like checkpoint this races. Is a B game. I never. It was a launch title game. It had a sequel. There's a Smuggler's Run. A launch and for with a PS2. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna remember that. Yeah. What was it? Ninety. <laughs> no, no, no. Two thousand and three. No, two thousand. Two thousand. Two thousand. Two thousand and one. 
I'm not going to remember that far. Yeah. 16 years ago. 17 years ago, bro. PlayStation 2 is the second greatest video game system ever created. I understand, but Smuggler's Run. What the fuck is that game? I can't believe you don't remember it. It was, it was. I'm gonna have to look that up it was, later. It was really cool. It was really innovating, and that that's the funny thing about it is because when I saw the trailer for Grand Theft Auto Five, I'm I I follow them. Uh, I get the emails and all that nonsense, and anytime one of their new DLCs come out, and it said Smugglers Run, I was like, holy shit, I remember that game. And then I and then when I did the research, I was like, Smugglers they Run. made that game. Um, <laughs> you gotta look that up. And the the cool thing is, is they're constantly building on something, on a game that's coming up on four years old. Smugglers Run, huh? Yes. <laughs> um, well done. <laughs> <laughs> they're they're constantly building on a game where, no matter what they do, it's. No matter what they do, it makes the game better. I remember. F- you know what? I remember this cover box. Yeah, you that's, remember the cover box. Look at the look at the cover art. <laughs> that's what I remember. Um, but look, you see, the next DLC is the um, Smuggler's Run G- DLC, and where where um, where Grand Theft Auto really succeeds and where they really shine, uh-huh. I've come to realize is that they want to do different things. First, they'll go. Um, I remember the big thing was when they released the heists, and that was such a huge, big deal, right? You're just throwing out names there today. Heist. No, the heist. You don't remember the heist? Yeah, I remember the heist. Okay, so that was their big thing, right? After the heists, then came the VIP. And in being the VIP, this is for all the people who had all this ridiculous money saved up, and you can just buy this obnoxious, you could buy a gold. You know, G5 private jet and all this other bullshit. But then they went and then they're like, all right, so we went to this avenue of extreme wealth. Let's bring it back to the roots. We were going to do the low riders. And then they did the low riders. And after they did the low riders, they're like, all right, well, we keep doing cars and cars and cars. Let's do something for the motorcycles. So then they did the biker DLC where they have all these customized choppers now. And then they went and they started. Um, when did this game come out? Four years ago. It came out in September. Nice. The heist is a long time ago. How do you ago. get these games? What are you talking about? I've never heard of these games. You no, the hi- no, the heist, the heist mission. No, the no, no. I'm game? just saying. <laughs> What's the rating? I want to hear the rating. <laughs> no, the heist, the heist was never a rating. The heist, it, that was just something that they introduced in Grand Theft Auto V. I don't remember that. Well, I mean, I only played Grand Theft Auto for the story. I mean, I know that's but what's you remember. The story. But you remember the heist yeah, in the yeah, story? Yeah. Yeah, that, yeah, that's yeah. where the heists for the online mode came from. Grand Theft Auto, for me, uh, and a lot of people are going to hate me for this, but to me, it was just like, you finish it, and then it was like, oh, okay, I'm done. I mean, I'm one of those people, once you finish the story, you're done. So I understand what Rockstar's doing, and I respect them. Oh, what did you say the record is? They're about to break uh, Wii, Wii Sports. Wii Sports. Yeah. The Wh- number which, one. No, no, no. Num- they'll never beat number one. No one will ever beat no, no one. No one's number ever. one? Tetris. Oh, come on. That's not fair. You're not beating Tetris? They should Tetris? just take that off. And then after that, it's Minecraft. Those those two, I don't think... Minecraft, I, somebody can beat it. Um, I, think my, I think Minecraft's over 100 million copies they sold. Something. But they can do it. They, they'll come up with something. Mm. But now, I hate my <laughs> But now this is the thing. Okay, so staying in the realm of Rockstar, and this is where people are going to hate me for this one. Um, as excited as I am for Red Dead Redemption, I don't think Red Dead Redemption 2 is going to be as good as Grand Theft Auto, strictly on the fact on how limited it is. What? No. How do you know it's limited? Well, this is... Because you read something? It, not that. I, this is me just Fake thinking. Fake news. <laughs> this is me just thinking. I, I, I'm, I'm, taking, I'm taking what I've seen from Grand Theft Auto V and utilizing all the different technologies. You know, aircraft, um, motorcycles, cars, the customization, everything along those lines. When you talk about the Wild West, you... I mean... It's not like you can upgrade your horse. There are different. Or you could. There are different tiers of horses. Uh, dude, I beat the shit out of Red Dead Redemption. I mean, but you didn't platinum. 
it, was, it had online trophies, and at the time, I didn't do it. <laughs> this is an undisputable of us because I have platinum on that game. Dead Space 2. Whatever. Hard to the core. I could do that on PC now. Oh, yeah. I'd yeah. like to see you try. Yeah, with mods. You can't Not do with it mods. Legit. It's just uh, the mouse overall is better. No. Anyways. Uh, uh, but, yes, you can get better horses. You can get better horses, but it's not like you're going to be able to get substantially better firearms. Like, the, the firearms are extremely limited. You, And I'm a guy who actually likes limitations in my video games. However, the the um, what continues to make Grand Theft Auto great is the fact that they can customize and keep creating better weaponry, better vehicles, because it's a modern video game. And... Times are constantly Where's changing. Where's the number one, though? Where Where is the number one selling Grand Theft Auto version? Because I guarantee you it's PC. It's probably PC. So oh, I don't know. Probably I, mods is what's keeping that game alive. No. I, I mean... I don't think they're selling PS4. No. I, I, as, I'll, as much as PC. I see people I see people on my friends list all the time. They're still playing. And, yeah, when, this, and when this Smuggler's Run DLC comes out, I Your will friends are playing it, and I agree. But I'm talking about who is buying these new... Grand Because they're still selling. But you, you also have to look at it. It's um, If you look at the top selling list, when... They when PlayStation released the you know the number one selling game in June, number seven or eight is Grand Theft Auto, and especially in the U the UK fucking loves Grand Theft Auto. In the UK, <laughs> Grand Theft Auto it's like it goes like FIFA, Formula One, and then Grand Theft Auto Five. Don't they get it after us? I I don't know, but it's it's selling ridiculous amounts. And as much as, and I, I know that people aren't going to like what I'm saying. I think, I honestly think Red Dead Redemption is going to be a perfect 10 out of 10. I don't think. You're saying it won't outlive Grand Theft Auto V. Yeah, I don't think, I don't think it has the ability to outlive Grand Theft Auto V. I could be wrong. I, I could be wrong. And they could add more things. You they, they could add more things. But the only way I can see them adding more things is by. Going to another state. Yeah, yeah, by by literally expanding the map, and that's where Grand Theft Auto Five has continued to impress because they haven't had to build the map at all. They haven't had to build a secret level, and with that being said, nothing. It, it, nothing at anything. They didn't add, physically. They've not added any landmass whatsoever. And if you remember in the beginning, when you first start off the game, you're like in New York doing some random heist in the winter. Do you remember this? Yes. And when uh, when Michael fakes his death, yeah, the fact that they haven't even brought that into the Grand Theft Auto Online just shows the level of success that they're having, and <laughs> they don't need to, which is insane. And then, but this now here's where it gets really crazy. In me following this this story, if you will, uh, the modders have made Grand Theft Auto. Four, the Liberty City, they've made it so that Grand Theft Auto Five, you can travel there. And right when they were getting ready to release it, then they shut it down. Rockstar shut it down because I think somehow, some way, Rockstar is waiting to just be like, there you go, Liberty. release Liberty City and what push it. it. Push San it. Andreas is in the game though. San Andreas is in the game. You can actually go to where, if you remember TJ, you remember yeah. TJ. You can actually go to Vine, uh, Vine Street. I think it was Vine Street, so, so where the game started. So the only thing that's not there is Liberty City, which is uh, no Chicago, I, right? No, 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 no. Another Le Liberty, of Chicago? No, Liberty City is New York. Liberty, Le Liberty City New is New York. In the original San Andreas, it had three parts. One of them was a representation of San Francisco. The other one was a representation of Vegas, and then you had, um, and then you had, you know, San Andreas was it, which represents L.A. The fact that they haven't done, didn't have to do any of that. Vice City, it, I would love Vice City. Oh my God, that was my favorite. I'm I, sorry, I, I didn't. Vice City was my favorite. So if they remade Vice City, I would buy the hell out of that game. And that, well, one of the things is, is the. And one, I, it was the CEO or the CFO or the president of Rockstar. He said that he wants to hopefully have 
the next Grand Theft Auto just be the United, just be the continental United States, um, coast to coast. But, um, what was I saying? It, it, the, 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 it, 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 I'm sorry about that. It, it's the continental United States. He wants to do it at such a grand scale, which will be nice at the same time. I don't know if that's almost going to be too much, if that makes any sense. Maybe. Because, I mean, I, I've the amount of Grand Theft Auto online I've played is a lot. And that drive from north to south, I'm just like, fuck no. my life. I, I'm tired of driving. I, Maybe I, they'll have one of those jumps, you know, where they just you jump in a plane and it goes... But what about online? You can't... You, you, you kind of... Well, no. Well, you can uh, do Division, Final, Division. Final Fantasy does it too. Final Fantasy jump. 14, you can jump? You can jump, yes. Yeah. You can jump... Well, I mean, you get an airship. No, you can teleport too. I don't know. I, mean, I never... can't teleport in Grand Theft Auto, but yes. Um, so, I'm excited for Red Dead, but I don't know how well it's going to work. I, I'm, well, I know how well it's going to work, but... I'm talking longevity. I, I don't know. I honestly, I, I've watched. Maybe it won't. I mean, people are not playing Red Dead. They didn't play Red Dead the Revolver, Red Dead Redemption forever. They didn't. I mean, they, it still holds up. Have, have you? Do you still own it? I own it. How do you still own it? I have a PS3. You still have the PS3? I have a PS3. <laughs> um, what was I saying? No, uh, I, I it, but that's the crazy part about it. It still holds up, it, which which I was shocked. I, why do you still have a PS3? I, I my goal. I'm, what is your goal? My my goal. I want all four systems. Why? A, I, I'm. I love play. I Get I love PC. I love PlayStation. I, and it's, you know, you you have this ideology of fanboyism. No, it's not about fanboyism. Uh, but but see, this 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 is why PC. You have games that came out in the '90s, and you can still play them. No, you but have to I, keep accounts. You can't. You don't have to keep a console that doesn't play the game anymore. But I, I, I still, I still, I there. there. So that that little ring is the dog going back and forth, <laughs> just in case, guys. Sorry about that. I still, I, I, I enjoy the nostalgia of it. I, I that opening. When was the last time you turned your PS3 on? Uh, exactly. I, I would say uh, no, no, no. Don't bullshit. Well, no, no, no. This is the thing. So I have a college football video game that they don't make college football video games anymore. And in my personal opinion, it plays better than the newest Madden. I watched the newest Madden video game, and I'm like, this doesn't look as good as this. So people I, actually still. Oh yeah. The apparently this new apparently this new Madden game is getting rave reviews. They're like, oh my God, Madden's back. And I've looked at the graphics and they're very stiff. What do you mean Madden is back? Wasn't it here last year too? No, but they're, as far as the score goes, because Madden's been getting really low scores as of the past couple years. What was the other game they stopped making? Uh, NBA, was it live? They stopped making a game. Also. No, well, they stopped making live. They're making live again. 2K is a beautiful game. I, I mean, I'm not big into basketball, NBA 2K is a beautiful, beautiful game. And the one thing that I will say that I actually like, it was one of the free PlayStation Plus games. Um, they have this GM mode where you don't you don't have to play the game at all. You can just wheel and deal and you know pick up the ultimate team. But as your team gets better, as your team gets better, you can go and rebrand your team. And this is the aspect I like because you can create a brand new stadium. You can change the way the seats Wait, look. In NBA Live? No, NBA 2K. NBA 2K. So you can create the stadium. You can... I'm listening. You can <laughs> upload... Uh, you can upload images. And you the... Put your face? You can put your face if you want. But I'm saying like... So say you want to make a, uh, a Star Wars basketball team. Or you want to make the Vaders. You can upload the Imperial symbol. You can upload Darth Vader's face. And you can put it on the court. You can put it in the stand. You can put it on billboards. You can, um, and then when you rebrand the team, you can make the jerseys customized. 
I like that, even though I'm not really big into basketball. That idea for the customization is what's really cool. Um, but that's the only reason why I play this this football video game because it's still being made. It doesn't make it works good on the PS3. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but that's it. They, well. Oh my god. Well, they got in trouble because of uh, you can't make money off college athletes or some noise like that, so they can't make college football video games anymore at all. At all. Not even NCAA. They I mean, they're, they're, ba- basketball or anything. No. That, that's, that's stupid. Uh, it, it it is, but it, apparently it's one of those. It goes back to this whole: you can't make money off these kids. You got to pay them if you're gonna do this. They weren't getting paid. Likeness rights, all this. They weren't getting paid. You can't pay a college athlete. What? You're not allowed to pay a college athlete. Come on, that's bullshit. You know how they get into the college in the first place. Well, I, yes and no. I I don't know if 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 we're gonna take the conversation there, I'm no, I'm, yeah. <laughs> I, I'm, I, I'm, I'm 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 gonna be the first individual to say uh, you you're getting a free college education. It, it's up to you to use it. You're you're you you know if you're trying to get into the NFL, then you really need to be on par. And if not, get your education, do something with your life. I, I don't believe in the free college education. You're getting free room and board. You're getting free food. You're getting housing. Everything is being taken care of. I don't feel that the athlete needs to get paid on top of that. Plus, they pay for them to fly home on holidays during. They get that too. How do you even know this? I'm a high school teacher. What the fuck does that even mean? The high you're not in college. No, but I I'm aware of scouts. So they pay him to go back. Wow. Yeah, yeah, they pay for them to fly back home because a lot of the kids are underprivileged and they can't afford to go home. You know, if you're if you're some kid in Liberty City, Miami, and. Uh, University of Michigan, which is in Auburn, recruits you. I highly doubt your family has the money to fly you back and forth to go home. That's true. So, yeah. So, what's next? Um, so, with that... Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, I, hey, We're I, new at this. For our first podcast, I don't think this is that bad. No, it's not at all. Um, no. It gets better with time. Oh, absolutely. Uh, with that being said, you know... Talking about the systems, talking about nostalgia. Let's talk about this Xbox One X Scorpio edition. What do you want to talk about? Who's buying this? <laughs> I pre-ordered it. To do what with it? No, I'm not going to say because people are going to get mad at me, but yes. <laughs> yeah. Um, there's no reason to pre-order it. There, There is no reason to own it. Now, granted, we were talking about it. I love my... I love Sony. Um, but I love Sony essentially because they've uh-huh. they've created games for me since um, since what since the PlayStation One. Um, I remember just the big fight that I had in uh, <laughs> in 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 high school over N sixty four versus PlayStation. And don't get me wrong, I enjoyed my time playing. Um, NWO versus WCW. I enjoyed my time playing GoldenEye. I enjoyed my... GoldenEye was a shit. I enjoyed my time playing uh, Mario, 1080. Mario 64. I liked Mario 64. I didn't I didn't think it was... I liked There this. was nothing like it before that. I digress. I, I think it, there was. What? Tomb Raider came out no, before No, Tomb Raider it. was not like that. Come on. Tomb Raider, Tomb Raider, no. you had the freedom to do a No. Lot. Yeah. How dare you? How dare you? Tomb Raider had specific levels that you had to follow. You, it wasn't an open world like Mario. Mario was the first open world. It was. Could no. Any, yes, you could. You could do whatever you wanted. I mean, not anything. Obviously, yeah. it's a Nintendo game. Yeah, no, I, no, I, I understand what you're saying, but you can do anything you wanted. Um, you can manipulate the game to do based off of wall jumping and and what have yes. you. You could you could go to certain levels, but so did Tomb Raider. No. Tomb Raider, if you could grasp the corner, which she was able to grasp a lot of corners, I played the hell. Yes, I played Tomb Raider two also, but Tomb Raider two was the best one. Yeah, where you had the boat and the ATV and. All that oh, that was the dragon. It was yeah. really good. That was one of my favorites. No, the, but um, PlayStation made games for me. You know, when PlayStation One came out, you had Final Fantasy Seven. You had I. This is where I go, and I'm PlayStation One is the greatest video game system ever created. I don't care what anybody says. The innovation that that system had with its limited ability 
Was Met- it limited? I don't think it was. No, limited. it was extreme as far as graphic capacity. PlayStation? Compared the PlayStation to the N64. Uh, and 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 you will see you you will see graphic superiority. What I remember, you think so? I remember I thought that it was. I remember seeing Torok for the first time, and I was like, "Whoa, this is!" Or do you, here's a here's a blast from the past. <laughs> blast Core. <laughs> do you remember Blast Core? Yes. Blast yes. Core was absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> um, but what was the? I don't think that the graphics were. I still think the PS PlayStation had graphics. I remember playing Aladdin. Aladdin. Well, that was on Sega too. No, 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 no. This was on PlayStation. Okay. Well, maybe Sega Saturn. Mm-hmm. And I was, I couldn't even grasp the the animation compared to what I was seeing in, in Nintendo sixty four. Oh. No way. But okay, so Resident Evil. Oh, Resident Evil was Metal Gear Solid. Metal Gear Solid. Metal Gear Solid pushed it. Metal, Metal Gear Solid was... See, because I don't count like uh, the Castlevania game. Oh, uh, uh, Symphony of the Night? I, I don't count it as like... It's a great game. I'm saying like uh, graphic-wise. Oh, yeah. No, no it, 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 wasn't. it was a side-scroller. It, it was a side-scroller. Exactly. It, it kept it simple. Beautiful game. Absolutely fun. We're talking about pushing, though. Dude, like yeah, new, yeah, yeah. New, but I mean, think... When you... Metal Gear Solid was... In my opinion, the first, and mind you, I was, I've always been different when it comes to my friends and what they had. What when when the system split, I was a Sega guy when everybody else was Super Nintendo. Oh my God, why are you talking? <laughs> you should cancel you I, right now. No, I I, I was, and and the biggest the biggest selling point for me as a kid growing up was, Mortal Kombat had blood, and Nintendo didn't want it, and. I, Sega embraced the violence. Um, I remember games like uh, like Jurassic Park was way better on Sega than it was on the Super Nintendo, and that was just blood, though. But but I mean it, it. But it, they were pushing a limit and they were pushing boundaries that the video game genre wasn't allowing. It yes, was what that but, Nintendo wasn't allowing. But the game was in both, though. It was both. Blood does not make a difference. No, 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 no. Street Fighter looked better on Super Nintendo. It did. I will give you that. Um, you never ha- gave that to me. Yes. No. I, I, I can. Unlike most people, I can admit when something is better or, or something is worse. Um, but I was a Sega kid. Um, you know, we had games like Eternal Champions, which was a straight up fighting game that had blood and violence and all kinds of stuff. Eternal that, Champions. I remember Ren and Stimpy. Ren and Stimpy. We had Toe Jam and Earl. Toe Jam and Earl. Hey, they... they, they that, Earthworm but, Jim was better on the Super Nintendo. Earthworm Jim was such a great game. But it was better on Super Nintendo. Yeah, but they, they, they had the power... They, the Secret Super Mana, Nintendo was... Secret of Mana. Street yeah. Fighter. Star it Fox. Was a, it was a more powerful system. I, I've I've acknowledged this multiple times. Good. Um. So, and then, but then you go to this is where PlayStation and the N sixty four was. Sixty four was the much more powerful system, but um, Sony pushed the limits with what they could do. And when you look at, I mean, I don't care what anybody says Metal Gear Solid changed video games forever. It did. You know, Resident Evil had the story, but. No, Resident Evil also changed the way video games were forever. Also, yeah, uh, it no. created a genre unlike anything. Well, no, unlike any, there was no no alone, survival horror. Alone in the Dark, PC. This was a survival horror. I, alone in the Dark was like a, an investigation type of thing. A, survival horror, not okay. having enough bullets. This was the first of its kind. I used to, the first time I played, I rented from Blockbuster. The PlayStation just to play this damn game, and I didn't have a memory card. Try to pl- try to fucking pass Resident Evil the without, first time. The first time without dying once. Well, funny story is because no memory card. The first sleep. Metal Gear I played, I had this friend. His name was Charlie, and he had like buku money. His dad was rich, uh-huh. and he had like this long weekend where like he had a computer set up with Half Life. 
we had an N64 playing like GoldenEye and shit. And then we had like this small TV. Well, we had a PlayStation. And I, my friend lent me Metal Gear and I never played Metal Gear. I beat Metal Gear Solid the first time I played it because I didn't have a memory card and I couldn't shut it off. And if you remember when Metal Gear Solid ends, um, Liquid is walking outside and like the sun's coming up. And I remember I seen the sun coming through the window. I was like, oh shit. I've... You finished that game in one day? Finished it. The very so you didn't even hear the secret of... Uh... Psycho Mantis when he says oh, you've been playing like Castlevania. Yeah. Well, I found that out late. I dude, the amount of times I beat the very first Metal Gear is, is obscene. Such oh, a great game. It was. It, it, and then they remade it and it was just as good. Oh, uh, the twin snakes. And this goes back to and the original topic of why the, is that game not available anymore? The, well, well, just the re the fresh coat of paint I don't feel for the greats. I feel that it, it's doing it a disservice because unlike film where the actors aren't gonna be better I mean we are never going to have another Marlin play the Godfather it, it's it, it, we're not going to get another Al Pacino to play Scarface um, actually yes not gonna be making Scarface it, but it's not gonna be as good I mean hell even even He's though not even it will, Cuban in this movie I heard no he's a white guy no, no, he's, isn't he Mexican? I think he's Mexican. he's Mexican. But, I mean, hell, we're even getting a Han Solo movie, but there's part of me that doesn't want to see it because it's... it's a young Han Solo. I know, but it's not... I like, no matter what, no matter what, it's not going to be as good. Maybe it will. You can't say anything. You have to see it. But this is where video games are different. I don't think... Um... Going back to uh, Konami, I just saw Castlevania today on Netflix. It's actually really good. <laughs> you liked it? I, I, I did. I, you didn't like it? I, I, I couldn't get past the first episode. Why? It was, I don't know. There, there was something about it that was... Uh, it, 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 I guess the animation... Because this is the thing I fall into. I'm, Come I'm, on, man! It, it, they can't. I no. They, this you, is you. You wanted like Japanese animation, like hardcore. Well, I mean, like everybody's crazy about Attack on Titan, and I watched. I'm like, this animation isn't good. Like, I can't watch it. <laughs> and the funny thing is, is this? And this wait, is, wait, wait, the the live version? No, I'm talking the, the cartoon. cartoon. The cartoon of Attack on Titan. I don't like. I don't think isn't it's good. The live version. The, uh, like a movie or something? Yeah, in like South Korea or in Japan. One of the two. Um, but if... I went back and I rewatched Cowboy Bebop. And it's a little dated. But still, Cowboy Bebop's animation is better than but, Attack on Titan. It's got more detail. It's got better shading. It's not, it's not, you can't, it's not fair. That's what do you mean it's not fair? It. How is it not fair? When I it is the number fucking Astro Boy has better animation than the what they are now. It, it, it's just back then, Japan really worked hard on their animations. They don't do that anymore. Or maybe they do. Maybe I haven't seen anything, but I feel like they cheat in their animation now. They're they're just not good, and that's and that's go and How that goes back you. to why well, Naruto was good, and that goes back to why I can't watch uh, <laughs> Castlevania because Castlevania is not good. Yeah, I, the story might be awesome because I was getting into the but it's story. it's not really made by Japanese animation, is it? I don't it's know. American written. It's American drawn. I don't know. It, it, it's not good. <laughs> the, the, the animation isn't good and because the animation is, I, I can't get over it. It's it's along the lines of yeah, Iron Fist choreography not being great and therefore it was quasi unwatchable. <laughs> Okay, what's next on the list? What the <laughs> Wait, we how did we get diverted? We we're talking about the Xbox. Oh, the Xbox One X and how no one should buy this system because I I disagree. People want the most powerful system, and it is the most powerful system. The, especially here in the United States, people want whatever is more powerful. If the Xbox One was more powerful than the PS4, you better believe that the PS4 wouldn't be where it is right now. I don't care about the price. If it would have been better, 
it would be number one. I don't like the Xbox. Don't get me wrong. But if it was a better graphics, people would have stayed with Xbox. No, I, I disagree. Because look at... Look Ooh. at... Look at... Remember Xbox? It was only, what, is it a year afterwards? What? Was it a few months? The Xbox One, when did it come out? The Xbox One and the PlayStation... The Xbox One after the PlayStation 4. I think it was a month. It was a month? A, no. No, it was a couple months. You're talking about when they... Are you talking about when launch? they showed it to people? I'm talking about the launch. Oh, I don't remember. I just remember laughing because they're like, "We're gonna charge this much," and it I, wasn't that much, was it? No, I remember it being more than the PlayStation Four. <laughs> yeah, but you didn't laugh when the PlayStation Three was six hundred dollars in two thousand and six. Uh, but uh, the, do you know what that is? Is it two thousand six? Two thousand seven? Do you know what six hundred dollars is back then? Hey, I, I bought. I was there day one. But you, but know, you ready? Stop! Stop! <laughs> Don't you dare! Don't you dare! PlayStation Three, backwards compatibility. Yeah. Had a Blu-ray player. Yeah. Built-in Wi-Fi. Free Wi-Fi. When you took an Xbox 360 to get it equivalent to what the PlayStation Three was, you spent more than that to get the Wi-Fi adapter, to yes. get the HD DVD because they didn't even have Blu-ray. Um, and then you had to get their subscription to work on the internet. You had to get all three. And when you totaled that out, it was more than the PlayStation 3. And that, and Doesn't that kind of sound like what Sony's doing now? What? It's doing the same thing. No, it's not. If you add, the, the U, if you add right now the UHD player into the Xbox and you add it to the PlayStation 4, it equals out to the same thing. But the, the Sony's smart enough to realize that the US the UHD player is arbitrary. The, That's what Xbox thought. They said, what do you need? A, I think what Xbox 360 made a mistake was that they still use DVDs as their games. To me, that was a big mistake. They yeah. could have added more. But but they, they did the price are cut. Are games Blu-ray now? Are they? Yeah, they're all Blu-ray. Sony gets a cut of that. <laughs> um, I can't believe it. <laughs> but that being said... Uh, no, the the difference with the, the and then this goes back to um, the idea that the reason why I'm a Sony guy is yeah. the games. There's nothing more that makes me a Sony guy than the games. Well, when you know, I remember having the arguments on why PlayStation Three is better than Xbox, and I was like, well, what do you have? You have Halo, you have Gears, and what else? They had the online. That that's what they had. That is that, that is that was the most important thing. Yeah, and to most pe- to to the average person to to the everyone. average to the average person. Uh, not me. To everyone. Not me. Uh, not I, you. But now you want it. Now you want the online. No. Yes, you do. No. Um, between um, between. Oh yeah. That's the game. <laughs> yeah, I know. Can they hear us? I don't know. <laughs> That's funny. Um, between um, they can't hear. They can't hear. You push the mouse. Can you mute that? <laughs> I, I find this. I find this funny. <laughs> Jesus Christ! These people are loud. Too bad. I, it, it's one of those situations where you had to been here to to find humor in that because we're. When you hear us, it's just gonna be straight <laughs> dead air. They're us bitching about people playing online. That's anyway, pretty funny. The, the um, no, but you you think that it's not important, but no, right now, no. I'm going back to the Xbox. It sold out. You're right. It did sell out, but That's you, you know, you know. But I mean, ready? You know what else sold out? Sega Dreamcast. Okay, what are you saying? The, it's not time to go out of business. No, it, it's. They're creating a, how can I say, it? like an, uh, they're creating an ecosystem of Windows, and eventually they're going to fade it out. Yeah, it's, it's going to happen. And that's and that's where talking about it, the idea that yes, you're better off. You're better so off buying a PC. Buying no. a PC. They calculated to do the exact amount of what the what the Xbox One is. They try to do it, and uh, 
it, it, it comes up to a little bit more. It's almost impossible. So I feel like they're losing money. Where? On the Xbox. Oh, yeah, absolutely. They're losing Be, money. Because, okay, so you have a bunch of people who want to buy the system to go to the system. Yeah. But already, you, you have a bunch of Xbox guys who want the system to buy the system. Mm-hmm. Once they're no longer pushing units because they don't have those first party titles and a lot of the people that they play with it, it, you have your hardcore Xbox fans and, and God bless you I mean you're like you're, 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 you. you're something that I've never seen before outside of Forza I don't know how you stay loyal to that system um, <laughs> but you're a hardcore Xbox guy and you're going and you buy this new system it's oh it's awesome da 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 but if you're playing online, a majority of the people that you're playing online, Sony has that market. And if Sony has that market now, mm-hmm. um, Sony can still drop the ball. They can still. I don't. I, I don't see how. I don't see how just because they are constantly releasing games. Re- when I'm reading reviews on. GameSpot or IGN or whatever, and people are sitting there saying, "Oh." Xbox One E3. I'm sitting there like, why? Because they released the system and yeah, they, they showed did. and they showed two games that are not Xbox. Yeah, but then a week. I, no, I heard a lot of people with the problem. I agree with you, but a lot of people were saying that Sony, uh, Sony showed the same games. Who cares? They, who At least, cares? You're, it's E3. That's your last year. They killed it, and they thought that they could just. Play the same things again? No, I, I I disagree. I think they killed it because they actually showed that these are real games that are going to be coming out. Uh, that, the, exactly, they never showed you. No, I mean when they're coming out, dude. Spider Man, you yes. can't tell me that you're not extremely excited for Spider Man. Of course, I am. Yes. Um, what else they showed? I've seen Days Gone, and so many people are like, "Oh, zombie game, this zombie game, that." You, you, you go you go, and you have State of Decay 2 and everybody's like, oh my God, State of Decay 2, this is awesome. And then Days Gone, another zombie game? How does that make... Did they actually show State of Decay 2? In, in yeah, the- they, no, no. They showed another tr- teaser trailer for State of Decay 2. Don't you remember? <laughs> it was the guys in the car and they're driving and then there's oh, shoots yeah, a yeah. flare. And everyone's like, oh, I like State of Decay. I played it. It's awesome. They show Part 2 is going to be awesome. And then... You know, you have an original title, Days Gone, which is, which to a certain degree could be a little Horizon mixed with a little bit of The Last of Us. And why is that bad? People are just haters, bro. I I mean, between when you look at what Sony has in the next year alone Uh with Spider Man, with Days Gone. With God of War, um, Gran Turismo Sport. What else do you have? I'm not sure on what other games you have that are going to be coming out that are going to be exclusive to PlayStation. You have a DLC coming out for Horizon. Um, hell, even the Secret of Mana remake is PlayStation exclusive. You played that new Uncharted game? No, I did, I haven't beaten Part Four, so I have to. Uh, what? I still haven't beaten it. I've been playing. I've been backlogged. I've been playing uh, like Bloodborne and. All this other stuff. I have it. I just haven't beaten it yet. Um, oh my God. There's, a, I'm but not, I'm not even a PlayStation player, and I passed it. Yeah, but there's a ton of. So you don't even know how it ends. No, shut your dirty mouth. And and apparently, like I'm all ready for Drake to die, and and if he dies, so be it. But I'm I'm a little butthurt if he does, because I loved. I think Nathan Drake is one of the best characters ever created. And um, oh my God. And with. That being said, of of him possibly dying, um, possibly dying. I don't know the end. Don't fucking say it. <laughs> You're such an <laughs> asshole. Um, with him possibly dying, uh, that's resting a, a great character, and this goes back to why Sony does so well, and why, to a certain degree, Microsoft doesn't. I mean, you, um, what what was that? What was their big game? That dragon scale game? Didn't that cancel? Yeah, but the that the beats. Oh god, that's that was so bad. 
I'm going to listen to different style music. And when I listen to different music, it's going to go and make my dragon do special things. Do you know, do you know what you sound like? What? You sound like an Android person. And you play an iPhone. You sound just like them. What? Every time iPhone does something, they go like, well, look at this. Hey, look at this. this is already out. Why are they so happy? This has already been done. I'm old. I, I, I like my the, Apple. The, but that's what you sound like. I like my Apple. No, but you sound like the Android people. Is what I'm saying. You but, do but the, what Android does to Apple. But the thing is... So is you got to think that you are... An Apple guy, right? But so Apple, there's an Xbox guy, right? But but Xbox it doesn't have what because if you were to compare and contrast the two, Sony is definitely more Apple than it is Android. How dare you? How dare you? What are I, you talking about? I can't even. Sony doesn't steal ideas. Apple, all this stuff that Apple does, Andrew's already done it. Sony, Sony comes up with new shit. No, well, no, you know they no, might no, no, they no. might steal ideas from Nintendo once in a while. Yeah, no, it's it it's you don't but you don't have the plethora of people that 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 that's where my comparison is. Sony has had the abundance of people since nineteen what when did the PlayStation come out ninety five. Yes, but they lost a lot of people for the Xbox 360. They lost a lot of they people. They lost a lot of people. They lost a lot of people. Most but, people. But then they, they didn't lose most people. They lost a lot, but they didn't lose most. I think they lost most. No, they lost a lot of people. Because if they lost most, they would they would have never been in the running for. They came out first. That's how gamers are. They go with whatever comes out first. Mm-hmm. No, do. no, no. The casual gamer goes with what's out first. If If Microsoft had the library that... Sony had I'd be a I'd be a Microsoft guy. I, I I'm fully aware of that. You, I I am. Did you guys heard that? If they had the library, I mean, they, they you could have, have it. Dude, when I heard that Metal Gear Solid was only going to be on PlayStation, Metal Gear Solid Four, when Metal Gear Solid Four launched, and the and Hideo, Lord, play, yeah. praise his name, yeah. uh, when Hideo said, "Yeah, we can't release it on the Xbox," it'd be like seven discs long. I was like, "Yep, superiority." <laughs> and 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 but I, and then it, what it, does Hideo know? Oh, what does Hideo know? Hideo knows who to pledge his loyalty to. Hashtag sure. hashtag PlayStation. He left Koji and he left Konami. Yeah, the they, smartest move that man has ever done. And they had him tied up in a bunker somewhere. I feel bad for him. Contracts do. No, I mean, they, it, they give him a basketball player who's dying to get out of a team and they can't. Hmm. It's the same. No, it's it's worse than that was worse. They than wouldn't that. even let him receive an award. <sighs> How terrible! God, you know I work at a casino, and the machines that always break are Konami. <laughs> <laughs> they always break. They and always have to be fixed. Remember when we saw the the Metal Gear Solid Three Pachinko machine <laughs> using using the Fox engine? The fact that they don't re-release these games. You can't do it with him gone now. Why, why People can't? are not going to buy it. No, I'd buy it. I, I Even would, with he, he deal gone? No. It, How you, dare you? You're going to tell... No. It, just like you, you said. You betray him? No. You, you may you may erase my name, but the memories will always stay the same. It's not the same. You're going to tell me if they the literally... The, Talking re- about the remakes again? Yes, they probably would. No. It, Konami has to try to stay alive now. Nobody wants anything part of them. No, no. They haven't come up with anything, right? No, they haven't done anything. They do pachinko and they're doing just fine. That's what they wanted to do, wasn't it? Yeah. They, 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 they want to go to cell phone? And cell phone. They think mobile app is the way to go and everything along those lines. <sighs> I don't know. At it, the end it, of the day, Nintendo's going to win all of this. It's the number one selling system. They're always the number one. But it's, it's... You have one. Why? Yes. You have a daughter. One was Zelda. Two, you have a daughter. George has one because hey, what about Dylan? Dylan is a child. <laughs> you know my three standards <laughs> on why. Anyways, um, <laughs> <laughs> that's the reason why Dylan has one. But I digress. God, I hope he's hearing this. Uh, Don't worry, I'll show it to him. Oh, that's beautiful. Um, but you know, it's it goes. It's a family system. It, it, Nintendo is the Disney. We we had this argument. Nintendo is Disney. Nintendo will always make quality games for children, um, and 
parent quality. quality games. And and that's the thing. They, they they will make quality games. They make them for children. But at the same time, um, I mean, hell, I know you're excited for that Mario game. Which one? The new one. That's come, not Rabbids, but the other one. It's just preventing me from going to the zombie run thing. <laughs> Believe it or not. You guys are going out there to Tampa and I'm like... Ooh, the Mario game's coming out the day before. Exactly. Just buy it. it. You have a Switch. You can take it with you. What about what Kayla's going to play? My daughter. Just, just hand her an iPad. She, okay. Just by the way, this Splatoon game is like crack for kids. Yeah? I'm so against it. And I absolutely hate it. I hate it. Whoever's listening, I hate Splatoon. Um, she gets the shakes. Oh yeah, like she, she wants her birthday to be Splatoon. No kidding. She's obsessed with this thing, bro. <laughs> obsessed. And and so, but this is this where is a kid's game. Yeah, but but this is where this is where Nintendo will always stay relevant, and at the same time, where they're staying relevant because they make stuff for kids. Sony continues to win the Oscar for Best Picture because they release the adult content. Yes, I agree. That, that that's that those are the two worlds, and I I so so, so and I mean you're that, predicting that eventually Sony and Nintendo will be left. Yeah, no, I I don't I don't. Every because every I, single I do every, agree. every single the past two E3s, they're exclusive on Xbox and Windows Ten. Yeah, that that's exactly. And that and why 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 would I if I. I, dude, I, I you hear me all the time. PC master race. I can't PC. Why? I'll be broke. I will be. You don't so, have to. You, you say I don't, but I know my spending habits. That's the difference between the two of us. You say I don't, and then I do the spending habits. With a console system, I am able to limit myself and not be able to be like, Hey, the GX ten thirty thousand came out, and it's gonna give me six more frames per second. Gotta buy it for eight hundred dollars. No, that's guys. Whoever's listening, I apologize. That's not how it works. Well, I'm saying it blindly. I know I, I'm I'm not a PC like, guy. I, I, the new CPU is coming out now. The i nine. Ah. Is that like nine thousand dollars or something like that? And, and I would. Max no, you out, would not max out my card to get it. Does it run crisis? All right. Before we close off, because we, our time is almost up. My prediction. Your prediction. What What is this prediction for? Twenty. The end of twenty seventeen. The end of this month. The end no, of this no, week? no. For Xbox, I can't predict when this is going to happen. But at the end of the day, Xbox will disappear, and it'll just be integrated into Windows. It's It's, it's going to happen. Sorry for people who like console, but. It, Get a PC now because that's where they're going, and uh, it's all this is going to be left for console is going to be PS4 and uh, Nintendo. Nintendo will dominate mobile, no doubt about it. Oh yeah, they will dominate it, and as long as they can dominate that, they're not going anywhere. Forget it; they'll be around forever. Maybe they won't be around for too long after this guy dies. What is he? A hundred now? Uh. His name, the guy who made Mario. Oh, I don't know him. Oh, I, I, he's a, he's. Be, I mean, this is why the games are so good. He's the man is a perfectionist. We're talking about old Nintendo exclusive. He's a, he's behind them. Once he dies, I don't think you can replace that man's brain. What's him and Ko, and, and Kojima? Kojima should make a game with that guy. The problem that Kojima makes. Why? Because because that. that game would never get released. Ko- Kojima said it. He's like th- one of the good things about having a uh, a deadline is that I actually have to finish my game. He said if I never had a deadline, I'd still be making. What was his very first? Oh, so game? you're saying the the mix of Nintendo it would take him forever? Yeah, that game would never get released. Because it, Nintendo could, could, takes could, their time too. Because they would they would they forever forever. But then it would be a masterpiece. Yeah, right? it'd probably be one of the greatest video games ever created. This is why I really hope Kingdom Hearts comes out to be good. I really hope it. I know you didn't like Kingdom Hearts. I couldn't play because it's like nine a nine cha- years, nine years or something. No, yeah. it's probably more. Kingdom Hearts two. It was PlayStation 
Kingdom Hearts 2. 2006. I'm was like, it a PlayStation? Yeah, it was PlayStation, PlayStation 2. 2. It wasn't even PlayStation 3. It was, it was at the end yeah, of the I don't PlayStation. Yeah, garbage. It was at the end of the PlayStation cycle. Because PlayStation 3 was out. They cannot afford for this game to suck. Well, from and what they're I'm, on the best system, which is what you're saying, right? Because it's not coming out for Xbox. Yeah. It's a, it's a PS4 exclusive. Is it a 4 exclusive? I, I sure. think... No, I think no, you're I wrong. Think it's coming for I, PC. I think seven is the PS2 exclusive. I, I think Kingdom Hearts no, is coming out. Well, how why would it? There's no other game for Kingdom Hearts that came out on Xbox. It wouldn't make sense. Oh. Talking about that, did you hear that Final Fantasy 15 is coming out for PC? Yeah. You heard how much it, how much space you need? No. 120 gigs. Jesus Christ. 120 gigs, bro. Did you? That's hear, a, that's an iPad. Did you hear what they uh, what they said about a a nude mod? The, yeah, yeah, he, yeah. He's like, I, I'm. That, that's fine. We're leaving it up to moral consciousness whether you download it or they're not. Do, they're, yeah, it's gonna be open for mods. Yeah. This is gonna be amazing. It's gonna be because that game has potential. Again, it's it's once the PC community gets a hold of that game, it's one of the most beautiful games I've ever played. I, I said it at the beginning of the cast. You know, it was, it was a, it was a good game. It wasn't a great game. It wasn't mind blowing. And at the same time, and those of you who are listening. And played it and beat it, much like I did. We're, you're just like, damn, this game had so much potential, but you guys just... I didn't play it. You just rushed it. I refuse to play it until it comes out of PC. Yeah. I will wait to 2018. I'll wait. It's it's not... I will wait. It's not bad. It, it, it And the characters are very... I haven't had characters this likable. I need 60 frames for a game like that. I, I, I don't right. even... I mean, Final Fantasy VII, to me, is the best Final Fantasy. I already said I was a Sega guy, so I didn't get the opportunity to play Final Fantasy three or six, however you want to be it. If you want to be American, it was three. If you want to be Japanese, it was six. Um, three, four, five, six. You, so you played seven first. I played seven. What did you think of eight? I, I thought eight was meh. Eight is my favorite. A, a nine, I, I would say nine is probably one of the better ones. Ten was good. I have, I have have you played 10 though I got the HD remake for the 4 god the guy who plays Titus is such a douche <laughs> he's such a tool but the funny thing is is when you play that game like I'm playing 10 and just like the fanatic you, you see the fanaticism of religion in characters like Waka and like you meet a character like Riku Who's different, and I guess she's she's a representation of like the transgender homosexual community. And Walk is like, "You're an abomination." Blah 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 blah. I won't even talk to her. And it's you could. And this game came out mm-hmm. what two 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 thousand and four two thousand. No. Yeah, it wasn't two thousand and two. Two thousand and two. No, two th- end of two thousand one, beginning of two thousand and two. And they're already thinking like that. They knew it was coming. It. it it's was, funny because I don't think that's how they think in Japan. So no, but it was there. Obviously, talking about the Western culture. Well, yeah. um, but I, I'm twelve. I'll never understand why people like that game. You play twelve? I played. I beat twelve. You beat it? I, be, I, I and couldn't. I couldn't even. I couldn't even tell you what it was. I couldn't finish it. I remember. I I remember playing it, and then when a sky ship was named Ifrit, I was like, no. And then there was the Shiva. How did you know it got great ratings? And that's why I bought it. And I remember that it was for PlayStation 2. And I spent $50 back on PlayStation 2. Brand new games were 40 And I spent the 50 bucks to get it. I, it. I was actually thinking of getting it. And it wasn't as, um, it wasn't as good. Okay. It, well, we'll see. I think it's time for us to go now. Yeah. Yeah. It was fun for a first time. All right. We'll try to do better a second time. <laughs> We're going to try to do this every Friday. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. All right, guys. All right. It's been fun. All right, man. Take a, take a, take a, take a